Well, what is going on guys and welcome into the video. So despite this incredible rally and many of our portfolios finally looking decent, it still feels like there is a lot more pain coming. And you guys know I'm not a doom and gloom kind of guy, but I'm also not a pumper. So I have to be honest when I look at this chart we are going to discuss today. So let's break it down together. And I just asked in exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing too. It's super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. So today's video is a condensed version of a much more detailed set of lessons that you can find inside the Market Insiders private group where we have over 100 different tutorials and lessons. And it's also where we have lessons on mastering your money, building up passive income, and retiring early and becoming financially independent. And we even have a real estate course in development right now. You also get access to me directly through DMs, live streams, and you see every move I make in real time, and you get my watch list with price targets too. It's all part of our ultimate online wealth building community that is over a thousand members strong of people who are building their wealth, their portfolios, and changing their financial futures. So make sure you lock in your membership now so you get the discounted price for life as long as you stay a member. And remember, not only are you investing in yourself and your family, but you are helping out others in need as half of everything goes to charity. All right, so this chart was posted to my group we just discussed by the almighty administrator, Mr. Alvarillo, who posts some incredible charts and is basically the information and chart guru for the group. Seriously, it's amazing how accurate his chart analysis is and thank goodness because I suck at technical analysis. It's just not my thing. Seriously, it's amazing how often stocks fall into his range. He shows us right before it shoots back up again and he's constantly helping members who are learning technical analysis. Despite being sick right now, he is still helping people out. It's really incredible. And oh, by the way, get well, my friend. Hopefully uh, you get to feel better here soon. But essentially, when you look at this chart from the Great Recession, we see the S&P bounce six times between nine and 19% in just three months in 2008. Now for reference, a 3% move in an index is massive. So these are major, huge bullish moves that happen very quickly. Some of them are as quick as like two days and some sustain more than a week or so. But as you can see, the trend line is down overall and we all know the market didn't bottom out till three months after where this chart actually stops. Now I did not show you this to create fear or scare you or anything else like that and click my video right up here if you want my thoughts and details on a recession specifically. But right now there is no indication that the potential recession that we're looking at will be nearly as bad as the Great Recession and we will see a repeat of that kind of devastation. As a matter of fact, GDP and unemployment are trending in the opposite directions of the Great Recession, so a repeat of that is highly unlikely. But I also don't think it's just going to be a V-shaped recovery like we got during the illness crash in 2020 and that was the last recession. Recession, if I could talk, recession. That rally was triggered by the fastest crash in the history of the stock market and then the Fed backstopping everything and then trillions being pumped out there in stimulus. So once again, we're in the opposite situation now compared to that recession. Stocks now were way overheated and needed to correct, which makes this crash appear more painful than what it really is. And then you have the Fed pulling support for the market instead of providing support for the market like they did back in 2020. And then the types of stimulus we saw during the early stages of the pandemic will not be repeated at all. And even if they are repeated in some way, there's no way it will be as much. We are not putting 7 trillion more out there. I'm sorry guys, it's just not happening. So kind of when you put all that together, it's easy to see why we will not see a V-shaped recovery and instead it's going to be a much slower kind of slog out that will kind of take months to dig out of and maybe even longer. And that's why I showed you this chart because that's probably the actual type of recovery we're going to see in this type of market. But Luke, are you saying sell now and then buy back in because the chart you just showed us means stocks will fall again and go lower? Well, I mean, I guess you could, but then you would be market timing, which no one can do regardless of what anyone says. Do not fall into that trap. I know it's sexy and it seems easy, but it's a losing strategy in the long run. The real reality is some stocks will not see those March lows that we just saw before the Fed meeting where it seemed like us, you know, the retail investors, the small guys like us sold right before the market took off back up. Basically, we mimic that meme that's not really funny because it happens to so many people, but the meme that says buy high, sell low comes from, and I hate seeing it happen. But there was a small portion of retail investors who were busy selling out our grandmas to buy more stocks instead during that same time frame. 
And I have no grandma to sell, but I worked around that problem and dipped deep into other accounts to pull funds over to buy all the deals that came that week. It was a great week to buy and a massive opportunity. Now, having said that, I showed you this chart to help you understand how a normal correction, crash, and recovery works since most have only experienced that V-shaped recovery that we got during the illness crash. And here are some important things to remember that we will discuss next when it comes to a basically kind of like a normal type of recovery in stocks. So first, some stocks are not gonna return to those lows, but some will return to those lows and some will go even lower than those lows. So there is no need to FOMO into anything. There will be opportunities to buy more. But I still bought despite the fact knowing that yeah, that some may go lower and I won't time the bottom on any of them and I'm just basically not a market timer. Which means I have no idea which stocks will never see those lows again, which stocks will come back to those lows, and I have no idea which stocks I bought will create new even lower lows. The reality is nobody knows but I will be ready to buy and will continue to stick to my plan and buy the stocks that do fall back down to my price targets. I don't care if this YouTuber or that person bought at a better price than me. Who freaking cares? If that stock goes to wherever I think it's going in three years, we will both be very happy. And I'm honestly excited when I see people in my group post better buys than me and when I read about your buys that beat me here in the comments section on YouTube. That makes me excited because we can all be winners and that fact is one of the most beautiful things about investing. Everyone can win despite having different strategies, different portfolio makeups, different stock picks, and even different entry points. So do not FOMO into a stock, buy with a plan, and understand that it may dip more, but let your analysis and long-term plan with the stock dictate what you do next. And if you don't know how to plan or analyze a stock and you want the step-by-step -step process to do that and much more, don't forget to lock in your discounted membership using the link in the description or the pinned comment. And if you don't know what stocks to consider buying, click this video right here for nine stocks I've been buying like crazy, or click this video for even more stock picks. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.